So I am going to do something I have never done in public. I haven't practiced this like I should. So I was uh, helping Guillermo in his, in, his, in his booth last year at the, at the Craft Council Fair. And um, he gave me this, this uh, he called it a plop, plop, I can't even pronounce it, plop pizzali. It's actually, I think they're traditionally made out of clay. And it's, uh, there's a, I guess it's a long time tradition with a, with a tabor and some kind of flute. Where you play the flute and, and, and hold the drum of a grape of your arm and play them at the same time. And I think, uh, so in, in where he grew up, they had a similar thing with clay flutes, and he decided to make uh, some out of, out of wood. And so I'm going to try this, and I think he designed it to hold it with your thumb, but that, my, my, my arms aren't strong enough to be able to hold that thing, or my fingers, to be able to hold that thing and still work with the, uh, the, uh, the fingers. So I'm going to drape it over my arm and see how much I can embarrass myself with this. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, kind of, it's an overtone flute, so it's, it's for the length of the flute, it's a very narrow bore. So it tends to jump to the various registers. Um, I'll demonstrate that without just keeping the finger holes closed.